Lifting Up Jesus, Opening His Word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio. I'm here live with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers had the question, was Chuck Smith in ecumenical fellowship with the Roman Catholic Church, or did he endorse them? I knew Chuck Smith. Uh, I had the privilege of doing conferences with him a few times in the United States. And I know people who follow everything Chuck Smith ever said. We have a wide catalog of his teachings, both in audio recording and on film. Never once did he endorse the ecumenical movement or the Roman church. Now it is true to say the following, because so many of the people in Calvary Chapel who were coming to Calvary Chapel and who were getting saved were from Roman Catholic backgrounds. Chuck took a pastoral approach evangelistically, not wanting to alienate Catholics, so he was reserved about his criticism of Roman Catholic doctrine, theology, beliefs, practices, and so forth. He was not one to speak against it. He thought, rightly or wrongly, that it would be counterproductive to seeing Roman Catholics get saved given the fact that so many people in Calvary chapels were from Roman Catholic backgrounds. That was his view. But there's a big difference between saying you do not wish to actively speak against Catholicism and that you're ecumenical. Something I shouldn't probably say, but when we had the Ex-Catholics for Christ conference a number of years ago, with Dave Hunt was still with us, Chuck Smith came within a half inch of agreeing to be one of the speakers. He changed his mind. I think that was unfortunate. But he didn't change his mind because he was ecumenical or in any way supportive of Roman Catholic theology. No, he absolutely was not. He understood that Roman Catholicism was not scriptural. He never endorsed it and he never, ever, ever went down the ecumenical road. He was just the way he was, being as pastoral as he was. He was, as he used to say, I'd rather err on the side of grace, you know. <laughs> he was a gracious man, and he wanted to be gracious. He wanted Catholics to be saved, and in his thinking, so many had been saved through Calvary chapels without blasting against Catholicism. That was Chuck Smith. But to say or suggest he was ecumenical is not true. It's not true. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Pash. God bless. Mm -hmm.